Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I'm at home cutting rocks open. So this is actually early in the week. This week we've got a big family reunion we're going to and hopefully while I'm out there gonna get out rock hunting at least once. So next week you should have a nice video of rock hunting. But for now some more cutting and yeah let's see what we get. Starting off with some purple jasper from southern Utah and oh that's cool. In a way, it kind of like looks like space, the universe. <laughs> really cool. This is uh, just a tiny piece of like agate jasper that was just sitting around. This side pretty much broke. That looks nice. Here's a little bit of that Vernon Wonderstone. It broke a little bit right there. Oh. <laughs> Admittedly, I've got to say that's some of the most boring. <laughs> For no wonder still I've cut open. <laughs> oh well. I guess there are some that are just mm, okay. <laughs> Here's a nice little Dugway geode. Okay, yep. That's a decent, decent Dugway geode. You can see sometimes how in the geodes you get these crystals that'll form in the center of them. And that's really cool when that happens. Here's I think the last one of those bird's eye gastropods that I had sitting around that hadn't been cut open. And well, it's in there, it's just a very ugly one. Mostly filled in with dirt, it looks like. Here's a little piece of petrified wood that came from Nevada. All right, it's very dark in that one. Mm. If I polish it up and maybe grind the other side to let some light through, maybe it'll look nice. Here's a nice piece of the agate from the Drum Mountains. This side looked really nice. This side looked okay, and I was like, well, let's see what's in it. Okay, about what I expected. Not too bad, it's decent right there. Here's another Dugway geode. Oh, nice one. Nice little double. Here's another piece of Vernon Wonderstone. All right, not too bad. That's nice. Here's another Dugway geode. Oh, looks pretty nice. Decent. Here's a piece of Jasper, uh, probably from that spot that Tim found. Okay, interesting. Not too bad. Another little Dugway geode. And didn't really get much in this one, but you can see the structure of it and sometimes where it fractures and then fills in with this kind of weird hard clay stuff. Here's a little bit of agate that uh, my subscriber sent last year. I forgot the name of this stuff. Kind of like a mossy agate. And it looks about like what I thought it would look like inside. About the same as the outside. Interesting stuff. Here's another little piece of petrified wood. It broke as I was cutting it, but that's what it looks like. Another piece of petrified wood from Nevada. Okay, it's got a little bit more going on it inside of it. That's cool. Nice. Here's one of those interesting little geodes from, uh, I think it was Missouri, that Dustin sent me. Oh, <laughs> pretty much filled in. But you can see how quartz filled it in over time. Cool. Here's another one of those Bertrandite things. There wasn't a lot from the outside, let's see. Oh, it's got a lot of fluorite, that purple fluorite going through it. Still really cool, really interesting. Nice. Here's another Dugway geode. Oh, uh, just a little bit down there. Not much. Oh well. Saw this rock just sitting in there. It had a little bit of agate on it. I don't remember where I grabbed this. Let's see. Oh, well that agate in there is actually pretty nice. Yeah, where did this come from? I don't remember. Maybe it was a subscriber. I don't actually know. I can't remember. Still really cool. And the last one I'm cutting open today is this nice agate that my subscriber gave me last year. And yes, it looks very nice on the inside. Very good. That is really pretty stuff. All right, now as a bonus, uh, Eric took some of the stuff I had just sitting in my buckets that I've had for a long time. And this was a piece of red horn coral that I had just sitting around. He went and took and polished it up for me on this end. And a little bit on that end. Yeah, I give him a bunch of stuff to just keep to polish up, and then he polished some of it up for me. 
Here's a small piece of one of those septarians that come off of his claim that he just got. And yeah, he polished this one up. Look at that. That's that's some pretty nice stuff. Might even be a little bit barite in there. <laughs> I got it all wet, but this is a, another piece that he polished up for me. These nice little septarians that comes from that claim of his. I don't know. We might start collecting more and maybe even starting I might even think about selling some of this stuff. Would you guys be interested if I collected some of this and started selling it? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. And that's it for today. Some neat stuff. Cut open some of this stuff I had sitting around. I need to get a bigger saw. I'm, I'm really going to work on that at some point. <laughs> we'll get there. But for now, we'll just cut the smaller stuff. It's still really cool and really nice. And a huge thank you to Eric for polishing those up for me. That was really nice. And yeah, are you guys interested in some of that stuff from his claim he just got? Are you interested in any of the septarians or uh, the petrified wood or anything else up there? Yeah, just let me know your interest and maybe I'll see about starting to sell stuff. Uh, I gotta get something set up for that. Business license and a bunch of other things. Anyway, until next time, when I will hopefully have a nice rock counting video for you from our reunion. Remember, there is treasure everywhere.